we are going to try to create a new region um, in an earlier video when we placed the musky or well the um the view block we cheated and stuck it in a a region that really shouldn't be in i think it is uh, here it is i believe nope well, let's just ask the inspector. Figure out the region. Uh, we have to look through the the theme twig bug debugging material. Here we go. Highlighted. Yes, we threw it in the highlighted region. And if you recall, the regions can be viewed in structure, block layout. Close this, clean up a bit, leave that tailwind open. Right. Yes, demonstrate block regions. And these are the existing regions. So we had stuck the V block in here. I don't remember why. I think I we couldn't get it to show up somewhere else. Um, so we're going to move it. We're going to create a new region and we're going to move it. Let's ask uh google drupal 10 create region and hopefully we have some fluffiness documentation i'll be as obviously must have scanned this before i really don't remember a lot sometimes because there's a lot to remember and google has it all here is the default regions listed, which does it totally match up still? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it does. Wherever it was, I think we moved away, but whatever. If your theme doesn't declare any regions, Drupal will assume this set of defaults. These regions correspond with what the default core module system templates page.html twig file expects as well as two hidden regions, page top and page bottom. You don't need to declare these final two if you override the defaults where page top and page bottom twig variables should be retained in the html.html.twig. Okay, let's have a look at that html.twig. Minimize the sites, go to templates. Uh, it's going to be layout html.html.twig and it's saying this has a page bottom and page top okay cool um i was basically it's good to see if the docs docs still match with um drupal um uh, the releases don't i mean outpace the documentation typically see the page uh, html twig documentation for a list of default regions we want to know how to create the new one so we're going to go scroll back up as you can see i usually jump around because it's a lot to read just top to bottom and a lot of it is um superfluous maybe maybe in order for regions it's definitely hard to understand right in order for regions to display any content placed into them, um, you will need to make your new regions, make sure your new regions are also added to your page. Okay. Regions will be represented as twig variables, such as this, um, where's the body, page bottom, page top. Those are the twig variables they're referring to. Regions will be represented as a course one key used in your theme name dot info dot yml file. So we want to look in our Drupal Linus info dot yml. Okay, there's no regions here, uh, presumably because it just said that they will be in the base theme stable nine. Let's have a look at the base theme. We will go to core themes that's in site uh project root web core themes 
stable nine. Oops, info. <laughs> Let's do a search for regions. Nope. Maybe it's somewhere else. Presumably core. I don't know. I don't know how it works really. How can core a base theme? Where's the starter kit? Uh, I don't think it'll be in here either, since I think these are just copied to our directory, of course. Um, so what we want to do is example header. All right, let's try to figure it out. Minimize. So we can see as much as possible. We are looking for, I don't even know. There's not going to be header in here, I don't believe. No. Regions will be the key, so let's just try it out, I guess. Uh, we'll stick it at the bottom. Regions. If we don't specify, will it overwrite all of them? I believe that's what it said, so let's just try one. We'll call it Russell. And it'll be called Russell with a capital R. And we're going to drush the R. And we're going to see what happens. Playing around, poking. Nothing, I don't believe. But let's check the structure, block layout. We shall close this so we can demonstrate the regions. <coughs> nope, no Russell. So that didn't work. Let's try a search of the code base for regions colon Let's see what we find block test special cars theme chars cars chars whole bunch of stuff olivero claro stable nine did i miss it or did i accidentally add it to stable nine apparently whoa okay let's get that out of there And try in our actual file the uh, Drupal Enus info file. Then we shall refresh, and everything's gone, meaning we succeeded in destroying our regions, which is a good sign. We made some changes and got what we expected. So we got to restore all the regions and just keep our Russell and rename it. Uh, where do we do that again? We can pull it out of that system nine. I just hit, uh, I don't remember, but let's hit control shift F. Find in files, regions. And we would scroll to the, was it down here? Was it up here now? Disappeared. It was called stable nine. We'll just go there the old fashioned way because it's open already. It wasn't here. That's where I added. Right. It's hard sucker to find. So let's just use them um, from the website since we verified it was correct. And it said we do not need those. These regions correspond with what default. Oh, there it was. Core module system templates page. Oh no, file expects. Ah, the default region C. Somebody would probably scold me and say, read the docs. So, 
do your own thing, maybe you'll have an easier time than I do. Uh, or lib Drupal, we'll, we'll do it this way instead of shortcutting it. In web core lib Drupal extension There is no extension directory. Oh, it's in here. Sorry. Lib Drupal core extension em extension list. Whoa, why is it taking so long? Whoa. Extension and then team extension list. That is quite a mouthful. Here we go. Provides a list of, avail of available themes. It uses a couple inter few interfaces. Provides a list of this class is not yet stable, and therefore there are no guarantees that the internal implementations, including constructor signature and protected properties methods, will not change over time. This will be reviewed after this. Uh, I'd love to go check that out. I'll do that later. Otherwise, we're going to be here forever. Here they are. So they're defined in a class um, as a protected variable, which is a property of this class. That's interesting. Okay, so if we look at the list, they will match up with this. There's header. There it is. Okay. We'll go ahead and copy and paste this. I don't know if it's telling us um, actually to exclude page top or not, but let's see what happens with it. Mm, Drupal info while I'm out. We will paste it here. And then we will rename Russell to something else. Hero. Okay. Presumably, this is the order. No. Breadcrumb. Probably. So let's put it somewhere above content. Here will be hero region will be above content. I think we will rush CR and reload. Didn't look like it helped. Let's check the demonstrate block regions. I'm going to shift R for whatever reason. Habit maybe. I'm going to do this again because I just don't trust it. And it still doesn't contain our uh, hero. Oh, yeah, maybe. It's hard to tell. Where's that help? No oh, help's right there. Header. Okay. Header, primary menu, secondary menu, highlighted, help, hero content, side bar first, left side bar, right side bar footer, breadcrumb is up there. So something is not working correctly. Obviously. Why? because we didn't add it anywhere. That's why. Uh, Drupal knows about it, but no twig templates know about it. We will add it to the content. I mean, above content, as I said, we'll create a new div to just look like the rest. Actually, I'll copy and paste it. And this will be hero 
class hero and then page dot hero so we theoretically have a new region in our list which we do let's move our block to that hero instead of highlighted and there's hero i think we can drag and drop it from highlighted which it's no longer there everything is now in header um i guess we destroyed our ordering so be careful um everything seems to be disabled as well that's cool whatever um it's a lesson for us uh, be aware be buyer beware i mean something like that we'll get into backups in another video as well though, of the database and files but we don't have to worry about the repo really because it's in git now let's do some reordering main page content we'll go back to content we can use these handy menus that they provide page title back into content i'm thinking um candidates that's our d block that we initially came to move into hero and to speed things along we're just going to take what we need powered by drupal just because yes site branding up <clears throat> and we'll put it in primary menu alongside the primary menu site branding i don't feel like creating another region for this should they just go in the header so we have an easier time with theming maybe we will let's put it back up here and we'll find the actual primary min menu main navigation and we will enable is that going to destroy our changes So let's enable first. Lesson learned again. Enable that candidates. Uh, enable the page title. Do we need that right now? We don't need that right now for the home page. No breadcrumbs. First custom block, which was an earlier video. We'll leave that alone. There's the site branding. We'll enable that again. Site branding is the logo and slogan. Okay, let's move them around. Page content into content. Main navigation into, I said the header where it is already. Site branding is in the header, candidates into hero. Primary admin actions. No, I didn't enable that. Right. Main navigation site branding, but site branding first, and then we can save. And we should have everything we need for the home page at the moment. Let's refresh. We'll inspect control shift I in Firefox. We'll have a look at this block, expand, and I'm hoping if we scroll up, we will see our hero region output here. There it is. Div class region, region hero. It worked. Thank you. Next up, we'll do some theming. 